Hello everyone and welcome to Nick Grit. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. Usually I do tutorials, but today I'm doing kind of a review slash what can I make with Dollar Tree exclusive products. So I kept on wanting to review these amazing crochet hooks. I mean, they're ama not amazing, amazing. They're not like, oh my gosh, quality, but for Dollar Tree products, you get 50 cent crochet hooks. That's pretty darn amazing. So I have all of them now. I went to my uh, local Dollar Tree and before when I did my last video, which was the Dollar Tree haul video that I did, all crafting related, everything that I usually use at the Dollar Tree, um, I was missing the 5 slash 5.5, but today they restocked and I went today to go see if I could find any of it and they did. So I now have two of these and I wanted to review all of these crochet hooks. There's also these metal crochet hooks. And I think the big difference is that A, there's two per in this one and there's only one per in this one. So these are a dollar each and these are essentially 50 cents each if you think about it. And what I'm gonna be working with is the smallest crochet hook that I can think of for this project. And so that, usually I work with a 3.25 millimeter when it works with my amigurumi, but here my smallest is going to be this four millimeter right here. And the biggest difference between these is that when you have metal hooks right here, these are gonna be a lot more sturdy. So I'm gonna pull these out actually, at least one of them. And so this doesn't bend in the center. So the metal ones have this nice grip to them as well as having metal. And I don't know if this stays inside the grip or not. That's the true test, but I'm not playing with these quite yet. I'm gonna play around with them later, but the big thing that I want to play around with today in today's video is this four uh, millimeter right here, which I can tell you right now, they bend quite a bit. As well as the fact that these are a tapered hook versus an inline hook. And I prefer an inline hook, which the basic difference is that a tapered hook is a boy's hook. So it has less of an ingroove on the hook, so it has less hook underneath it and it has more of a rounded top. It's tapered on the top, basically. An inline is pointer on the top and has a bit more of a groove on the inset. So it has a deeper inset on it. I am not the biggest fan of these kinds of crochet hooks, so I'm just gonna be upfront about that right there, but I wanna see if I can make a full project with it. And I kept on thinking, well, it's too bad I can't do some kind of amigurumi because that's pretty much all I do on my channel. And I kept on thinking, well, I'll just knit something. I'll do something like that. And I kept on thinking, well, it's a shame that they don't have pillows at the Dollar Tree. And when I went to two of the five Dollar Trees that I went to today, um, <laughs> they have these little stupid pillows. I'm so excited. And I'm going to cut these very carefully so that I can keep the fabric of them and maybe even try to play around with having some of this fabric on the insides of the ears. Don't quote me on that, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if I wreck it because I'm not sure how that would work with how they're all sewn in right here, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. And at the very least, I will keep it for its little cute fuzziness here. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna set it aside and I bought three pillows and I bought all different colors because I thought that that would be kind of cool. And they're these little like, cheap little tiny one dollar pillows obviously i also love how this pillow has this absurd tag on it can i just highlight that so i'm going to be taking the innards of my pillows and there's also this one which was a rainbow one so if you're in love with this you can go to the dollar tree and probably find it but i'm going to take its innards and i'm going to make this into the stuffing for my amigurumi and then i'm going to use my hooks and i'm going to use these pretty skeins here. I'm using the Just Yarn Worsted Premier Yarn and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to work this into a Baby Luna bunny. I think that's what I've decided I'm going to do for this project and I want the Baby Luna itself to have pink and gray and maybe some cream in it. I haven't decided yet how exactly I'm going to go about this but I'm probably going to do some color stranding just to really show what these crochet hooks can do and I'm really excited about it. So I'm probably going to do a vlog style from here on out and kind of talking about my general thoughts working with this yarn and working with this crochet hook and uh yeah oh hello kitty kitty come on up my cat decided to come say hi hello so let's go ahead and get started all right so i'm on the final repetition 
of my uh, increases for my baby Luna head. I uh, The gauge is slightly larger, but that's because this is a four millimeter and not my usual 3.25. Uh, if you have a Bates, I would definitely still <laughs> recommend that, but that's just me. I do not like uh, the tapered crochet hooks. I like an inline crochet hook. It is very light when I'm holding it. So if you don't like a lighter crochet hook, then this might not be for you. But if you do like a lighter crochet hook, this is definitely something that I would recommend for a beginner. Uh, but I do have to say that there are some caveats to that statement. I would definitely recommend getting a Bates or a Susan Boys if you're able to, because uh, this plastic, A, it is light and it's harder for me to get my hook to go where I want it to go. And B, there are some plastic bits that are a bit rougher. So I'm going to actually take a nail file to that and see if I can fix that but there's just this rough texture and the issue with that is it keeps catching onto my stitches the yarn actually works up fairly beautifully I love this uh, for the first three rounds I was having an issue with my gauge and the increases causing these big holes in the center I kind of wanted to show uh, what that looks like but I managed to fix that and this is actually a technique that one of my commenters posted I'm really excited about this uh, so you do your normal repetition. So this one is a single crochet two, increase single crochet two. So one and two. And now we're on our uh, middle increasing stitch. And how I do that is I'm working through front loop only when it comes to my amigurumi. I think that that looks bubblier, but for this increase, we're gonna go through the front loop only. And then when we go back in to do our increase, we're gonna go through both loops. This kind of brings this back loop forward a little bit and helps make it look like these hole is not as noticeable and once you get into your next two stitches you can barely notice that those two stitches basically so one and two so you can see right there that that hole is barely noticeable so if you're having that issue do that kind of increase uh, method I'm gonna be doing a whole tutorial on increasing and I hope people like that so you can see already that this is gonna be a lot bigger than what my usual Luna head is with my 3.25, but that's just the gauge of it. And I'm gonna single crochet around and finish off at least the head and make little bunny ears for this. I don't know if I'm gonna do the body, uh, maybe just a little bunny head. I think it'd be kind of cute. This kind of hook is actually great for a beginner because your stitches are not as likely to go as quickly, but that's what I'm having issues with. So if you're a seasoned crocheter and you know that you really like uh, your stitches to go fairly quickly, I would not recommend this one. It's cute on the bottom though, this is really cute. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going on and let you know some more of my thoughts. The yarn skein also decided to do some yarn barf uh, whenever I tried pulling out the center. So also keep that in mind. All right, so at the very end of my increasing, I actually took a nail file and I just kind of smoothed the top of my crochet hook and Eh, it's growing on me a little bit, but I just wanted to show the size difference between a 3.25 millimeter done with a Bates uh, crochet hook for a Luna head versus what's happening with the gauge on this one. This is going to be a giant bunny head. So I think I'm going to make the bunny body and I'm going to continue on with the Luna aspect of this. All right, I'm going to continue on with this and I'm going to start the body and then I'm going to do the ears and I'll probably sew a bunch of it together and figure out what I'm going to do for the eyes. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the eyes, but I want it to be Dollar Tree exclusive, so I'm trying to figure out something around that and not just safety eyes. But if you want safety eyes, you can get them on Wish for fairly cheap too, so I'll be back. So to keep this even, I'm also going to use this yarn. I kind of wanted to just generally get an idea of what uh, this yarn quality was. So I'm going to use my Susan Bates crochet hook. I actually went to the craft store the other day and I wanted to price check one of these. These usually are $2.49 uh, just by themselves. So if you're going without a coupon, you can get one for $2.49. But I also have an Amazon link down below if you're interested in getting a uh, four pack, which brings them down to below $2 each. Or if you're there and you got your 50% off coupon, which I believe there's a 50% off Joanne's coupon. You can also use a Michael's and a Hobby Lobby, at least until the end of this month for a Hobby Lobby uh, coupon. You can use any of those over at Joanne's and I am using the same spiral technique where I am increasing six stitches and then I'm also doing the same uh, minimizing my increasing structure that I did on the other one so you can see exactly I'm doing the exact same pattern and the exact same techniques so um, with that coupon you can get these down to about a buck 29 which I think is great sometimes you can even come across a 60% off coupon but that's 
neither here nor there. Uh, this will bring it down to about on par for what it would be at the Dollar Tree. So I honestly would probably just go with a Susan Bates. But uh, if you don't have Joann's in your area or anything like that, again, links down below for anything if you're interested in getting a Bates and you want a fairly inexpensive crochet hook. I'm going to finish off both of my bunnies and then do my final review. All right, so to get the innards from my pillow, I'm going to actually go as close to the seam as I can and just kind of slice it with a pair of scissors. These are fabric scissors. Granted, they're a little, you know, dull, <laughs> but that's pretty much neither here nor there right now. And I imagine I'm not going to be able to actually use these sequins depending on how it's all assembled and how I pull things apart. So for right now, I'm just gonna cut a hole in the side and I'm gonna pull all of the stuffing out. And I'm going to use that as stuffing for the inside of my little bunnies. All right, I'm gonna go stuff and I'll be back when it's time to do the little faces. All right, so I just wanna show the size difference between these two bunnies. I made one in gray yarn with my D3 hook. And I also made another one using the uh, Dollar Tree hook. Both have been stuffed with the same material. Both are done with the same yarn. It's just, it's a huge difference from what that yarn hook will do. It will give you a completely different gauge. It, but for some reason, it only really matters when you're stuffing. Like when I stuff, it expands outward. But whenever I have them right next to each other for the ears, it doesn't look that different, honestly. So from here on, I'm essentially going to use some uh, fabric paint. I wanted to show what it looked like with some safety eyes. You can get those on Wish or I have a link for those down below um, on Amazon. I think it's an affiliate link. I'm not 100% sure. But basically I have links down below for safety eyes if you're interested in those. But if you want to see how to exclusively do this with Dollar Tree uh, products, they do have puffy paint at a lot of the Dollar Trees that I'm at. You can either embroider using your yarn or you can be a little extra and use the puffy paint uh, or fabric paint or however whatever the name for it is, you can use that at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this one and I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. So I'm gonna do uh, some sleeping eyes on this bunny and I'm gonna do a nose on him. So let's go ahead and re-angle and I'm going to try to make this as symmetrical as I can. So I'm essentially going to do the eye. I want it to be sleeping. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a it's already coming out there we go a little bit of an eye like that kind of like a half C and I'm going to try to make it a little bit bolder so that it actually is a little neater I always do my initial line and then I go outward so here I'm actually gonna go outward like this and create a little bit of a And I'm trying to be careful with it so I don't wreck it. Puffy paint can be difficult because you actually have to be good at painting a little bit. I actually think that looks pretty cute and we're gonna give her a little bit of a nose now as well. You could if you come across the pink uh, fabric paint, you can do that, but I actually am just gonna use this and I'm gonna center it in the center, like so. Some people make little hearts, but I'm just gonna make a little bit of a triangle for the nose and I'm gonna try to get it to stick. Because the stitches are kind of spread apart, it makes it a lot harder to get this to go to the shapes that I want it to. I may have to go over and do a second coat once this has dried. Actually, so we'll see how that goes and I think that that looks Okay, it's not my best painting job Again this Stitching is not my proudest moment, but I feel like that has to do more with the uh, Crochet hook than it does with whether or not I am capable of making cute stitches. I was not the biggest fan of that crochet hook. So that is just a basic little amigurumi face. And I think it turned out okay. His eyes are completely insymmetrical. Yikes. 
I'm gonna have to go over this one again and try to make it so that there's a third. But I can't do that until it dries, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna make this one have a nose as well, and then I'll be back. Oh my god, once that thing dries and I fix it up. All right, I went in and touched up just a hair. I'm gonna let it dry now, and it's, I mean, it's not my best, but it's not my worst. And here's what I did to my other bunny. This is what I mean by if the stitches are slightly closer together, you don't end up with um, a gap and the holes aren't easier for the puffy paint to kind of go inward on and it doesn't mess you up as much. I was able to get a much smoother line on that nose than I was able to on this nose. I might actually lighten up that nose a little bit. All right, so I've come back to give some final thoughts about generally what I think about the Dollar Tree products. Uh, this is what I wound up for a final product. This is the one that I used the Dollar Tree crochet hook on. So this yellow one, which is the smallest one that they have, I believe that this is a four millimeter, a four millimeter. And this is what I used uh, with the same yarn. These are the same Premier uh, Just Yarn Worsted. For the same exact yarns, I used my typical really inexpensive Susan Bates crochet hook and a 3.25 millimeter. So yes, there is going to be a gauge swatching difference. This is what I used for the gray one. As you can see, the gray one looks significantly better. I could have done better on the eyes, to honestly, with that fabric paint, but I was half asleep when I was doing it. So that's neither here nor there. It's permanent now, it's on there. So I definitely, I cannot say that I would recommend these crochet hooks for anybody that is looking to seriously get into crochet work. But if you're looking at killing a Sunday with your kids and trying to teach them how to crochet and you're worried that they may or may not get into it, yeah, pick up a couple of these, it's 50 cents per. Whereas if you're a bit more serious, I would get either a Boys or a Bates, depending on if you like an inline crochet hook or whether or not you like a tapered crochet hook. I like myself a good inline crochet hook, so I get a Susan Bates with a coupon for 50% off over at Joann's, which you can get very often. Sometimes you can even get 55s and 60s over there. You can get this for a minimum of like $1.29, basically. I can get it for cheaper if I save up, but I'm not going to do that. It's $1.29, I'd pay 29 more cents just to make sure that I can get a really good crochet hook basically. So that's what my opinion on the crochet hooks are. I'm not a big fan of these. They're kind of wobbly and generally I had to literally take a nail file and file it. I just, I'm not the biggest fan. However, if you like Vanna's Choice Yarn and you like using that to make your amigurumi, this is definitely get a big thumbs up from me. The Premier Just Yarn Worsted makes for great amigurumi. It is plushy, it is cute. I love how it looks. It's super cute, he needs a tail, but I really like how he turned out and they have multiple colors. This bunny cost me under $5 to make. So, and that's including the eyes, the fact that I paid for the paint, and also I still have a ton of yarn left over, so it's significantly under $5. But I used just a little bit of this white, a little bit of this teal, if I were to count everything that I purchased in order to make said bunny, it's under $5. So I really like this yarn and that's pretty much what I think about my Dollar Tree haul so far. I'm going to be doing the velvet yarn, but even just playing with it a little bit, I have noticed that uh, the velvet yarn from the Dollar Tree likes to shed. So I'm worried about the longevity of your projects already kind of thinking about there. Let me know if you guys want to see a full blown review. I'm thinking about getting one done, so just let me know what you guys think down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.